the chair now recognizes Dr. Baird for an opening statement. Good morning and uh, thank you, Chairwoman Stevens, for holding today's hearing on innovations in sustainable chemistry. Uh, this hearing introduces or continues our subcommittee's focus on, on new innovations and technologies that will drive the American economy into the future. Chemistry is essential to our economy and plays a vital role in helping to solve the biggest challenges facing our nation and the world. From medicine to energy to production, chemical manufacturing touches our lives every day. In the Hoosier State, and I'd also say that's where Purdue University is, anyway, chemical manufacturing, <laughs> chemical manufacturing is one of the largest industries and it represents over $27 billion of our state's economy every year. In my district alone, chemical industry employees over 200, employs over 2,300 people. The United States is second only to Germany in the export of chemical goods. But global competition is increasing and we must innovate to meet the demands of the 21st century. There's a market demand for chemical products that use resources more efficiently, are safer for both humans and the environment, and at the same time, consumers want these products to be just as effective or more effective than the traditional products of the past. Sustainable chemistry, or green, green chemistry, excuse me, is a relatively new field intended to meet this market demand. As we hear today, industry is investing considerable time and resources in research and development for sustainable chemistry. I look forward to hearing from our witnesses about those innovations, and I really appreciate all of you witnesses taking the time to be with us today. I also look forward to hearing what appropriate role the federal government might play, whether it's investing in the basic research to address knowledge or any knowledge gaps that we might have, or helping the industry develop voluntary standards or metrics. I again thank Chairwoman Stevens for holding today's hearing, and I yield back. 